it is Halloween time again. It's already October, and that means Halloween projects are going to be going crazy. Today, I'm going to be making one of three different types of Halloween projects. I got three pretty much pumpkin type projects. This will be probably the funnest one, I think, and the most challenging out of the three that I'm going to do. I'm going to try to upload these three days in a row. We're going to go to the minor salt. This is going to be a very uh, like I said, it's going to be the most complicated, but it's going to be still easy. We're just going to be using the miter saw. We're cutting uh, our pumpkin to make, to go, to, you'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Since I don't have it finished here to hold in my hands, I can't show you. So just stick around and check out how we do this. I've got my stop block set up here at about a little less than three inches. The length isn't important as long as you cut them all the same. I got my miter saw set to 22 and a half degrees and I'm going to be cutting boards just like this. You see, it's cut two angles there at 22 and a half degrees. It's going to be on my corners to get like a 45 that's kind of rounded at a little bit of a blocky angle. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these boards just like this one. I'll need a total of 16 of these for the projects I'm making because I'm going to make two sets of pumpkins for this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get here and start cutting these. Now we've moved our block out to looks like about seven and an eight. Again, I'm not real worried about the length. I'm cutting them all the same length. So the exact length is not important to myself. I'm gonna cut, uh, I needed six of these for the first set. I'm gonna do four, that's gonna make it square. And then we'll repeat this and make the same width of this and we'll add a couple inches and make it a little bit taller. So we're gonna go ahead and cut all of these that we need right now. Now just to make some of these a little bit taller, I see where I'm marked at. I'm just going to move this out to about right there and this will make part of them a little taller. And again, the exact height I'm not concerned about, I just need them the same length. Now I'm just going to find the center of these. So I started with two two by fours. You can see my pieces over here. This is all I have left. So you could you have a little bit of room to play if you would like to see yours get a little bit larger than the ones that I made. So and you can do this with two two by fours. These are about three bucks at my local Home Depot. So you're looking at six bucks plus the candles. I mean not a real expensive project. So now we're just going to simply we're going to get some glue, bread nail these, and glue them together. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is kind of lay this out, make sure I know where all my pieces go, and then it's going to look like it's supposed to. And that's going to come back together really nice, just like that. First one's done, boom.
The holes on the bottom, if a little bit of paint gets in there, I'm not too worried about it since it's going to be uh, covered up by the candle anyway. So let's go ahead and put some paint on this. I'm just going to lightly coat each one of these uh, with some paint, like you see here, and We'll see how it looks when I get done. Make sure when you're painting, you have a well ventilated area. I got some fans blowing, they're actually off for the moment while I'm recording, but as soon as I set the camera off, those fans will be on to circulate the air out of the shop. And now we're gonna let them sit outside and dry. So I've got a little plan here, since I've already got glue on these tops, and I, didn't, I just eyeballed this, I didn't go for the exact center. But what I'm gonna do is just drill a small amount pretty much just to scrape the paint off and I've already got a mark and this is so I can glue the tops on it just something like that really not even making an indention and these just strictly scraping the paint off pretty much just so I can add use wood glue to hold it on So now what I'm going to do is come back, put some wood glue here, and just set this down on there, just like so. I'll get a rag and wipe all that glue off. So for these pumpkins, I got these, uh, battery powered candles, these are gonna be light up, that way there's no chance of this catching on fire or anything. I don't know, you might, these might be big enough that you could use a real candle and it wouldn't have any problems. But this project is done. I got the tops attached as you saw. The candles are in here. These look great. These are just gonna be some nice little display pieces to go on the mantle or on the table. Somewhere inside, I actually made two sets, you can barely see the other two. Over here, I haven't got the candles and those yet. Hopefully I'll get all three of these pumpkin videos done in a row here uh, this week on my channel before we get to Halloween. Hope you guys like this. Make sure you click that subscri subscribe button to see more videos just like this and to see those other two pumpkin videos I have coming out this week. Thanks again for watching and as always, y'all will see me next time.